it's that time of year where we reflect on what has been done and what we plan on doing in the year to come. So I'm going to explain the difference between input goals and output goals. Generally speaking, output goals are goals that you want to achieve in the future. An example of this would be, I want a thousand streams or I want a summer award. Now, the issue with these type of goals is that you are not really in 100% control with output goals. You're not really in charge of output goals. Hence why they introduce things such as SMART goals to help you achieve the set goals. The alternative to output goals would be input goals. Input goals are those goals that you are actually 100% in charge of. An example of this would be, I will produce five songs or I will make 10 tracks this year. The difference between this kind of goal is you are 100% in control of the set goal and the output would be a result of what you put in. The reason you might want to opt for input goals is you are in control and it actually helps improve your confidence because you are 100% accountable to these kind of goals. I've always focused on output goals and then worked my way back into input goals. So ideally you want to link the two and not just make output goals. I, for example, I just want a summer, but you also want to put input goals. I want to market my music by a thousand rand, for example, or I want to have X amount of songs this year. Now, both goals have their places and as a visionary, you want the output goals, but as someone who's crafting and making the work, you also want input goals. And that's why I highly suggest if you goal setting this year, that you focus on both input and output goals. Don't forget to sign up to my mailing list where I will be sending more guides and tips and tricks on the music business. The link will be in the description below and in the comments.